Well, if you are full moon sensitive, like Virginia's teenage daughter Magnolia is, you better look out because this is going to be a rough week. Now, Virginia, you believe that your daughter is affected by what happens with the moon and you can tell because all kinds of calamity happens in her life whenever you got full moons yes and we were tracking it a lot when she lived with us in high school but now that she's up at fsu yeah i gotta track it from long distance the more popular name fms Mm -hmm. yeah Full full moon sensitive yeah that's what she is fms at fsu that's right (laughs) she better be careful because uh there's a whole bunch of moon activity coming her way oh it is about to get crazy with some moon what you talk about kevin well we have got a hunter's moon that is going to be coming up now the hunter's moon is the first moon following the harvest moon it comes from the algonquin native american tribe because they would go hunting to prepare for the winter during this moon it would illuminate all their prey for them oh oh right so uh, that sounds ominous in and of itself if you're A deer, maybe. (laughs) You're right. You know? They say this is going to be the biggest, brightest supermoon of 2024. Oh, sweet Max. What day is it? This is going to be going down, and the peak illumination will be happening on Thursday at 726 a.m. Get the bubble wrap. All right, so we got to start preparing on Wednesday night. Is we this, got a full this, moon rising. Is this like hurricane prep? You have to put yes. up the shutters and you have to bring in the plans. You got to and... cancel all her plans. Yeah. Your daughter Magnolia is not allowed to leave the house. No. <laughs> You're not allowed to leave the sorority house. You got to stay in that sorority house. You can't go nowhere. I don't care what kind of party it is. I'd say no contact with any human other than family. Well, mm-hmm. Good luck with that. I know. She lives in a sorority house with 63 girls. Oh, my goodness. I know. What I calamity know. for the oh. whole sorority? Do they even know what's coming? They need to put up hurricane shutters. Conditions are right. Do they realize they got an FMS girl that is in their sorority? She, uh, she is the only one. He's not yeah. the only FMS. She's not the only one. Oh, my gosh. I would not want to be in that sorority house coming up on Thursday morning. There's at least 35% of her sorority team that is FMS. For a multitude of reasons, you don't want to be there. I mean, you got hormones. You got girls cycling. And you got all kinds of crazy thoughts. You know, oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's, it's a lot over there. Yeah. Now, they say, too, this is going to be the biggest, brightest supermoon of the year because it's the closest that the moon will be to Earth, approximately 222,000 miles away. Is this that kind of moon where you make a left on a street and you're driving and then, boom, there's a moon coming out of the ground? Could be, and this might be more ominous because uh, sometimes to go with the blood of hunting, sometimes there's atmospheric conditions that might make it appear red. Oh, ooh. On top of everything else. It's kind of exciting, though. People get crazy about the moon stuff. I, maybe I am, too, I guess. I know Virginia and Magnolia are. I respect it. I know the power of it, and I don't want her to be out and about in it because chaos and calamity will ensue. I feel like the media loves moon stories because they need things to talk about constantly. Mm-hmm. And there's always a moon story out there. There's, you know, a sizable portion of the population that believes that the moon affects behaviors i mean i'm open to it i'm not saying that it's going to be the end all be all but why if the tide can kind of control certain things why would the moon not sure they're they're kind of hand in hand you can make an argument for it so what you need to be aware of the hunter moon it's going to be dropping on thursday now, it'll be lasting for a little bit of time, but the peak illumination, 726 a.m. on Thursday. And then, if that's not bad enough, we then have the beaver supermoon coming up. Oh, my gosh. The beaver moon? The beaver supermoon, Virginia. <laughs> oh, Given its proper title, it's a supermoon, not just, just a Bucky's moon. Does Bucky's know? That one kind of sounds awesome. <laughs> they might want to take advantage of They need deals going this on. This would be a great promotional vehicle for Bucky's. It would. If you're Bucky's and you don't take advantage of this. Yes, November 15th, Bucky's. You All can right. thank us later. November 15th. I'm writing that in the calendar. Yeah. That sounds like a fun party to have. Doesn't oh, it go doing... to Bucky's on November 15th for the Beaver Super Moon? We're doing a little Beaver Moon party. Do you think the Beaver like doesn't wear pants? <laughs> I mean, uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I do. Do okay. you see the beaver's moon? That's what I think you should have, right? I've, I wish you were after the show podcast. <laughs> so there you go. Just to uh, let you know, you've got a lot of troubling dates coming up here because it is super moon season. Starting with the Hunter's Moon on Thursday. Very dangerous time for Magnolia. Oh, yeah. Something is wrong. Max is a mess. There's a full moon out. She has FMS. You can't run. You can't hide. Full moon sensitivity will make Max cry. You better beware. You better beware. FMS, baby. There you go. FMS. Yep. This is how we do. It's the KBJ Show.